What up, LC Heads? I just wanted to cut in here real quick and uh, just tell everyone to stay the hell away from this thing, this pull candy piece of crap banner, uh, especially for newer players, just in case you're not sure. Just stay away from this. I know it says, like, Ultra, and there's a UR there. Uh, the UR arc is Lily Matter. And I'll be perfectly honest with you guys, the characters here aren't exactly amazing. They're lower tier characters. Uh, Elza is probably the strongest hero on here. And the UR arc is actually not the best UR arc. Um, honestly, it has to be rated probably one of the lower ones, the less useful arcs, especially to a new account or a newer player walking into this and looking at this like, oh, hey, this looks cool, right? You know, because they do... I mean, with the arc in the background, it does look pretty damn awesome. Uh, what's going on here? I wanted to go to the arcs. Uh, it's just not that great of an arc compared to other arcs as far as the effect that you're doing with it. You're going to make light and dark do 20% more. Let's see. Battle start. Light and dark damage taken by all enemies plus 20%. Magic attack damage plus 15. Light and dark magic attack damage cap 3,000. So it's going to give your magic a little bit more damage cap only light and dark right and it's going to make enemies take 20 percent more magic at the start uh at the start of a fight which is you know that's that's pretty good and the stats are all right now but just compared to what some of the other ur arcs do especially for a newer account uh i would much rather have the uh blaze garden ur arc that uh you know, is helping you get item steal and farm and actually something very, very useful, you know, for the game. If you're going to be aiming for an actual UR arc, try to go for one that's really going to benefit your account. Um, yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. This has Lily Matter on it. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. It throws this, uh, it throws this skill Right, uh, but compared to like this thing that's going to completely break the enemy and then it also, you know, all enemy attribute resistance minus 27% and the lowest attribute resistance for each enemy with a very powerful attack damage cap plus, you know, 11,000 on top of that. You know what I mean? And stuff like this. I'd, and then we have other arcs that this is like a free apple pie. Well, a, a small piece of one. Um, the status is everybody and specifically feeds one character or one type of character, which is the girl that fell on this banner. But for her, it's freaking awesome. And as a status bound, this is pretty cool too. Uh, but I would rate this one as a lower, uh, tier arc as well for a new account. Uh, I pretty much would want to probably start with this. This is an absolutely awesome UR arc. Uh, it'll help you charge your special gauge and let one of your heroes just drop an S4 like it's nothing. Uh, and it'll charge it again after you drop that. So that's awesome. Uh, but not only that, but you get an item drop rate increase times 1.5. And God Slayer affects damage from non-God types minus 20%. So you're going to take uh, less... God Slayer effect. Okay, and then damage taken from God types minus 20%. So gods are going to do less damage to you, which is really, really nice. Uh, and of course, this has a skill too, and the skill is going to fill up your, uh, your special gauge, and it's going to help fill up your allies' special gauge. So if anything, you can have your whole party <clears throat> potentially, you know, start dropping their S4s instantly from having this. Uh, and with the item drop, rate increase this is just the way to go it's one of my favorite arcs for sure just because you're always going to use it for farming um so i don't know i would go for something like that um these other arcs pretty much pertain to a certain element uh, that one's going to do a bunch of lighting this one's going to do a bunch of fire and it's going to strengthen fire um let's see the thing is though here's the thing do, 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 do. This is uh, thunder damage, 
right? Thunder damage. Thunder attack damage cap, 3,000. So this is going to help with some damage cap for thunder attack. I was checking to see if uh, it had anything to do with, like, magic at all, right? Um, this is going to do, 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 do. Fire attack damage cap 3,000. So I guess, I mean, this one is for magic. Uh, it does say uh, specifically magic attack damage and magic attack damage cap 3,000. Um, so being that mages aren't typically as powerful, um, I would go for one of the other ones if you are seeking power. Uh, through the means of a UR arc, right? If, if you if you don't care about the item drop and you don't care about any of that, you just want something that will, you know, there's just probably better ways to go. Um, see, that is not the only mage arc either. This one's a mage arc. And oh, would you look at that? We got some Ethereum from it. Right, so there's other mage arcs. Uh, do this is going to completely like break your enemy you know mine minus 50% debuff to all enemies right and then it's got uh, yeah all attribute resistance minus 27% so it completely breaks everybody down attribute resistance and then does that type of damage this thing hits really hard uh, and it's going to make your whole party hit really really hard after you drop this thing uh, you know, and this has an intelligent base stat line for like a mage, right? If you're trying to get a UR arc to power a mage up, if you're making that a priority, hey, do you, you know? The thing is, there's so many characters that have interesting kits, right? And then you can just get a UR arc like this that just like gives that character apple pie and just gives them awesome stats and... Not only does this thing have like 372 strength, it also has 374 or 364 intelligence. So characters that scale off of attack and intelligence get hooked up here. Uh, everybody, just about anybody, can fall into this category of like soldier, knight, horser, sniper. Uh, it's going to give buffs to a lot of different heroes that we have. And the skill, of course, recover 44% of total SCT gauge for all skills right you use this boom your kits all charged up you didn't have to you know use apple pie uh it's just a really awesome arc i use this thing all the time for benchmarking for trying out new heroes uh this is the arc i'll give them just because it has great stats all around so it's giving every character a nice boost and it's going to charge their kit for me that way i get to sample the kit right off rip and just see what everything does you know, just a really, really good arc. Um, it also helps that it has, like, light critical rays on it. And uh, formation, Aldina attack, all good stuff, all good stuff. So, a lot of different options for UR arcs at this point, right? Uh, but I will end it on saying this. Uh, do not chase them and pull for them. We're going to have uh, a banner with these arcs on them uh, the next couple months. They do this, and then it'll be like $89, whatever, to buy in. You'll do a 10 pull with that, and then you are guaranteed a UR arc. That is the only way uh, to chase any sort of UR candy at all, okay? Um, that's just the way to go here. Got to be patient, and then you're guaranteed one of them. And the good news is, and I can vouch for this, is a lot of times you're not just pulling one UR arc. Okay, I've seen like lots of videos and content where people do this $100 pull and they get like two or three UR arcs. So that's freaking awesome. Um, and uh, so I really, I really got to hold out for that. And I got to tell everybody to do the same thing because it's just the smart thing to do. Right. So don't worry about chasing any of these for now. Um, you know, if a banner comes up that has a character on it that you really want and it happens to have one of these arcs in the back, you know, still pull for that character. Great. If you get the arc along the way, congratulations. That's how I got this last one right here. 
Like I was not pulling for this arc uh, at all by any means. I was trying to get the girl, and the arc came down right before the girl. So I think it was even in the... Was it in the same temple? Were they temple apart? I think it was in the same temple. It was ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> but I did technically get the arc before the character. Um, you know, if it wasn't for that, I'd totally just be holding out on that. Um, and that's the best advice I can give talking about UR arcs. Right? So this whole banner then really falls apart and there's nothing there. Um, this ultra... Descendant of Heroes Festival, uh, Lily Matter pickup rate arc is just not worth a damn. Stay away from it, especially new players. Do not walk into this. Do not fall into this trap, this crap trap. Go over here instead and either get Melee or Melee, or we have this amazing White Day step up thing where you're guaranteed an actual good hero. Hold on. Yeah, all of these heroes <laughs> that are on the white banner, there's there's a ton of heroes that are stronger than the heroes that are in the other banner, who like the strongest heroes Elsa. Um, definitely just do the white banner instead and just stay away from that. Uh, I, I just I have a feeling they're just putting that in as kind of like a filler, and I don't want anybody to accidentally stumble into that banner, right? It's the first one that meets you. Uh, and get taken advantage by it. So just new LC heads, beware, right? This thing is lurking. Stay away from it. I know it looks cool. And I'll see you guys out there later.